Today we're gonna mount a spare tire on the UTV trailer. So uh, instead of buying a bracket, I'm just gonna make a bracket because uh, why buy one when I can make it or try to make it or something. Let's go. Here's the trailer in question. I think we're gonna make a, we've made everything else in the trailer that I bought. It had uh, pretty much as you see it here, but a little rustier. The tail lights were falling off and went on the Amazon and ordered some of those and welded them on there. I am not a professional welder. I am a garage welder guy. And we went and took a small loan out so we could buy 10 boards with the price of lumber. We got lucky though. Bought two boards shorter. So we made these ramps out of, uh, well, we got the ramps from Harbor Freight and we made the little uh, inlay, put them in. As you can see here, out of leftover stuff, that's actually a chunk of bed frame, and so is all the other stuff. Welded on some D-rings, and uh, got some there, and tried out both UTVs, and ironically, they both fit. Didn't know if they were gonna fit. Bought the trailer. And but good thing they do. And we added a box on the front. Put all of our straps and whatnots in there. And yeah. So uh, last thing we had to do is have a spare tire, which unannounced to me, which I just didn't really check when I'm buying a trailer, but to look at the uh, lug pattern, which is four and five and five on four and three quarters. Let's try this again. more better. Okay. Now that we got that fish there. Let's flip this. Alright, let's put this right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. all the holes just for funsies it is not the size of the hole we're only going to use three of these lug nuts but we'll just trace them all <laughs> all right let's get this going here so we got our little plate here 
little template. We're gonna trace this onto a piece of steel we've got laying around and get the old plasma cutter out, the lava thrower, and see if we can make something like that. Okay. Slagger here, we're gonna take your hip. Give it the trifecta of holding. Like that. Okay, let me find a razor, cut these out, trace this on, and we'll get torching. I'll probably cut this out, these holes a little bigger so I can move blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you guys get it. It's taut. 
All right. Oh, that's right, we didn't fill up the, the compressor. So we'll have to do that and then I'll come back and we'll cut that, okay? Alrighty, so our compressor's full. Turn that compressor off because the plasma cutter is on the same circuit as the compressor and I'll fill it right in the basement to pop the fuse. Reach back on yonder. Clip on the... Uh, The Amazon grinder, cutting wheel, the expensive Amazon cutting wheel. This thing works pretty great. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not, you know, something you'd have at a fab shop every day, but for 180 bucks when you're slightly inebriated on Amazon one night, it has done pretty good. So uh, we got our ground on here and we're gonna cut these lug holes out first. And I'll let you know that being a novice plasma cutter that when you go down and hit the trigger for the first time stuff will go flying everywhere so I kind of shield maybe where some gas tanks and stuff are and uh, yeah so let's buzz these holes out first because why get a drill that's just silly
back after a small commercial break and I go re the breaker. <laughs> Persuasion here. Uh -huh. Now, a guy probably should cut that apart, you know, with the sharp pointies. We'll leave it. I mean, that's how we'll find it in the dark. a little too much on that one, but that's okay. That's all right. I guess we could always weld this, weld these guys, let's go, we'll weld that guy in. And, uh, worst comes to worst, we gotta put a little pipe on the lug and, you know, just adjust it a little bit. So uh, we'll get this cleaned up and uh, maybe we'll take the hazard fright scary bit around the hole a little bit so we got a little more gain adjustment and then uh, we'll clean this plate up and weld it up. Okay. Pretty sure we got our piece all cleaned up. Grab our wheel. Oh yeah baby. Make sure we got a lot of flammable stuff nearby. Let's clean up our hole again. Now I took the, the old this guy. Get them at Harbor Freight for super cheap. They last about three or four drills. Kind of hit the old holes again with them to clean the holes a little bit. Maybe made them a little, a little too big. That's okay. If you can walk across it, you can weld across it. So. give her a go, I think, somehow. This is gonna be bad. All right, I'm gonna have to get my welder out of here. Maybe I can do that while you guys are still plugged in. You're asking which welder do you have, Chris? The Miller Matic 1185 6000 gray welder? No, Harbor Free welder. It's a uh, Chicago Electric from Chi-Town. And it is, uh, this may or may not work at all. I didn't make the wheel go work. It's a flux core welder, and, uh, it'll be fine. It'll work great. I know. I can feel it in my bones. If not, well, then the spare tire will just fall off and go down the road. Proper attire on here. I'm gonna flip that guy on and uh, let's see if we can blow another fuse.
when you do this, make sure you get lug nuts that are like five inches long so it takes for lug wheel studs that are like five inches long so it takes for a lug. Okay. Okay. I'm doing with what I have. Alright, so there we got three on. They're a little wonky, not too bad. But we'll just give it the old crank down with that. We'll flip this guy like that because I'm not good at welding upside down. I'll try to ground that out again. We'll grab the uh, we're gonna grab the other gloves this time because I don't like starting on fire much. I've done it a few times and it's not my cup of tea. So we'll grab the big gloves and we'll turn the loud ski on again. Okay, yeah. That's uh we can snag them. We're just gonna yeah, take a little swag hammer. Hey everybody, how's it going from down there? Yeah, the boat it fell down. Alright, I'll be back in a second, okay? <laughs> Tripod. It's almost a bipod. Turn this guy off. Let's open the door and let her hear all the The neighbors will think they're House is on fire. Oh, they're dropping my nuts again. I'm sure my gloves are on fire. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure it'll hold something. Maybe, maybe not. We could always buzz over it again, but. take this out to our trailer and probably measure stuff. Cool. All right, so we got our little uh, triangle square, square, speed square, yeah. Check these guys, because we got 45 degree angle here, 45, if it's in there, guys. 
So yeah, it's off by just a fuzz, no big deal. We're gonna measure from inside of here to inside of there. 45 out of this two inch here that I got set up. With the chopum saw at a 45, we'll cut a piece to weld in the middle of that, which then will weld two pieces coming out of that to the spare them tire. And uh, yeah, let's get this shit cut up. Okay, let's get this all cleaned up and get that thing welded in there. Okay, we're back. I, uh, I'm not really good at this YouTube thing yet, being this is my real first video and whatnot. So I'm a little impatient, but I'll, I'll, I'm gonna work on that for you guys. Um, so I went ahead and kind of got a lot more done, but it's getting dark, I'm losing daylight, so I thought I'd try to button this up because my neighborhood's not really a, what would you call it? Neighborhood where people do stuff, a lot of, Pretty much all retired people live here. And um, I'm the only one that really does stuff out in the garage. So I try to like keep it down a little, especially on a Tuesday. But uh, I'll show you what I got going on here. So here we go. This is what we got. It's a little eh looking, but it's very functional. I was gonna weld that piece in here going this way but the tire kind of came out in different spots and the, well i just had that piece laying around so i just buzzed her in there but uh i'm gonna throw some paint on here real quick i'm sure it'll dry really good being 20 degrees outside but the metal's hot and then i'll uh crank the spare down and we'll see how it works well would you look at that you put some black spray paint on it and everything just smooths right out it just fills in all your shoddy craftsmanship but it's okay it's gonna suit gonna suit our needs beautifully mm-hmm uh-huh we're gonna get the spare tire on and uh, get it buttoned up out here because I'm uh 
Oh, I'm kind of freezing my nuts off. Well, would you just look at that? Would you just look at it? Not too shabby. I do say so myself. I like it. You know, if I could find another wheel in that stupid size, the guy might actually think about making another one on the other side there. Oh well. It'll work for now. Well, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Well, if you guys like what you saw and it's somewhat helpful, hit that subscribe button. Maybe give me a like. Maybe put some you know, words and comments or things I could have did different. I am up for anything. Knowledge is key. Um, we're going to do all kinds of different things in this channel, from trailer spare tires to working on the UTVs to, who knows, building a crap house door on a tuna boat. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. But uh, if you liked it, stay tuned. We're going to change the battery in this thing and uh, maybe add some silly lights up here. This one's my wife's. Mine is over yonder. You can't see it, but... I'm sure you will at some point because I'm going to have some riding videos and stuff like that and uh, normal UTV maintenance. But yeah, we're going to put a battery in this thing and change the oil in it too. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that notifications button. You'll know when I put a video on. Thanks for watching.